Alright guys, today we're going to be painting a little baby chick. I am using a number 10 brush and I've got cadmium yellow here. It's my primary color. I've already got it ready to go by adding water to it. Now I'm going to start with a method called wet on wet. That just means I'm putting some water down on the paper first in a roughly the shape of the body. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this will help me cover a wider area and get a, the blended look that I want for this first layer. So with wet on wet, the advantage is that you can really move that pigment around. So you'll see that it immediately starts to spread out once it touches the water. And I'm just simply dabbing my pigment on. You'll notice I'm not covering that the whole area with pigment. I'm just kind of dabbing it in places. And then what I'm going to do is rinse my brush off. Kind of dry it off a little bit. And now with my clear and drier brush, I'm going to go in and do a little blending. So this helps me uh, spread out the pigment a little bit more. I'm, I'm using these short sweeping strokes to get myself a little bit of a feathered, or not me, but the bird. Give the bird some feathers here. A little poofy guy. So I'm starting from the inside and sweeping it out quickly using the tip of my brush and well, it's called feathering. It uh, feathers out your paint. So I'm pulling that inside area out, these little strokes here. So there he is. Give him a little bit more hair up here. Okay. Now, this is the first layer, and I need to let this dry so that when I come back to do the beak and the feet, I have a dry surface to work on that will allow me to have a crisper line and a more detailed stroke. All right. Well, our first layer has dried enough to work with, so now I'm going to come in and do the beak and the feet. So I've moved to a number six brush, and our little beak starts here, and I'm going to come out starting with the outline and bringing it back in. You know, if you don't get the outline 100% right the first time, you can always sort of modify it as you're working. But now I'm filling it in. And I'm leaving a little bit of a gap in the paint there to make it look like he's got a little mouth. Give him a little smile there. <laughs> okay. There's that. Now, it's time for the feet. And he's got cute little feet. Okay, we're going to start with his right foot. And starting at the top, I'm going to draw his leg. And then his little toes. Middle one is the longest. And he's got one that's here in the back. <laughs> okay, there's one. And here's two. Again, drawing the leg. Now, whenever I do a detailed element like this, you'll notice I get my paint on my brush 
and then I wipe it on the side of my palette. And that removes excess water so that you don't have a big glob of water on your brush before trying to draw a nice thin line. But your brush is still full of the color, which is what you want. And there's another little thing. Okay, the last little detail is his eye. And I'm using black. I've also switched to a number two brush because this is a very small little detail. Now, to do the eye, you're going to start with the outline. And, you know, do your best. This is, this takes a little bit of practice to get it that small, but it helps to start with the outline. Okay, now as I fill in the eye, one important thing whenever you're doing a little eye like this is to leave part of it not filled in. So that little dot right there is what makes him look alive and like he's looking up at you. <laughs> okay. Just fix the edge a little bit. And one more little thing on a bird's feet that I like to do is put in their, their little claws. <laughs> so I'm just doing a tiny little line. I find this gives the foot a nice definition. It's a very simple little stroke, but it adds quite a lot. And there you have it, our little chick just in time for spring. Have fun.